The Eastern Press is an American publisher specialising in quality leather-bound books. They often publish large series of books, and one of their lesser-known but much-loved collections was a set known as the Masterpieces of Fantasy that they produced between 1996 and 1998, which included about 40 classic fantasy novels. Each volume in the series has a distinctive cover design embossed in gold on both front and back covers, along with a hubbed spine, satin ribbon page marker, smithstone pages and elegant gilded page edges. The books also come with a four-page background and introduction to the book, and feature end papers with a pattern designed especially for this series, as well as a colour frontispiece by a contemporary fantasy artist. The series originally included signed editions of several volumes, with one signed book being sent out for every eight regular books purchased. Each signed book included a certificate of authenticity. When the series was discontinued, some of the remaining signed copies were sold off at a much higher price, swapping in moiré fabric end sheets to replace the series' end papers. Others were bundled or expanded into larger sets, such as the Tolkien Classics set. It was an excellent selection of classic fantasy books, and for today's episode I'll be going through the entire set for you. I'll give a short introduction to each book and show the frontispiece, and as well as putting links to the out-of-press Eastern Press titles below, I'll also link some contemporary editions if you're just interested in finding a copy to read. The Malaysia Tapestry by Brian Aldous. In this Italian and romantic fantasy, rogue actor and renaissance man Perion de Carollo finds himself at the centre of a maelstrom as festering violence threatens to explode in the opulent magical city of Malaysia. The book was first published in 1976. The Eastern Press frontispiece is by Ron Wolotsky. Three Hearts and Three Lions by Paul Anderson. This novel is a pastiche of interwoven stories that draws on varied European legends, including Arthurian romance, Spencer's fairy queen, and German mythology. It's a magical parallel universe fantasy in which Danish engineer Holger Carlsen is transported to another Earth, where he's destined to play a part in the war between law and chaos, along with his companions Alianora, a swan maiden, and Yugi, a dwarf. It was first published in 1961. The frontispiece is by Bob Eggleton. A Spell for Chameleon by Piers Anthony. This is the first book in Anthony's light-hearted and humorous Xanth series about an enchanted land where magic rules. Every citizen has a special spell only they can cast. However, protagonist Bink is exiled to Mundania because he doesn't seem to have any magical talent. The chameleon of the title is a woman whose intelligence and beauty vary depending on the time of month. It's rather hilariously sexist. It was first published in 1977. The frontispiece is by Don Mates. The Last Unicorn by Peter Beagle. This high fantasy novel follows the tale of the unicorn who learns she's the last of her kind and undertakes a quest with a bumbling magician called Schmendrick in order to discover what's happened to the others. This particular Eastern Press edition is one of the most expensive and hard to find second hand. It was first published in 1968 and the frontispiece is by Doug Beekman. The Devil's Day by James Blish. This edition includes two books, Black Easter and The Day After Judgment. It tells the story of white magician monks who desperately try to close the Pandora's box opened by a weapons dealer who hired a black magician to unleash all the demons of hell the day before Judgment Day. Many of the monks are actually named after the author's science fiction writing friends, such as Father Vance, after Jack Vance, Father Anson, which was Robert A. Heinlein's middle name, and Father Selene, after Samuel Delaney. The book was first published in 1968. The Eastern Press frontispiece is by Alan Clark. The Sword of Shannara by Terry Brooks. This epic, heroic fantasy is the first book of the original Shannara trilogy. The novel interweaves two plots in a fictional world called the Four Lands. One follows Shay Onesford on his quest to find the Sword of Shannara so he can fight the Warlock Lord, and the other follows Prince Balinor's attempt to oust his insane brother from the throne. The plot's clearly reminiscent of Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. Eastern Press at one point advertised they were producing the whole trilogy of Shannara in a set, but the plan was abandoned and only this volume was produced. The book was first published in 1977. The Eastern Press frontispiece is by Doug Beekman and it also includes a map by the Brothers Hildebrand. 
Little Big by John Crowley. This romantic urban fantasy novel is also known as The Fairy's Parliament. It begins with the story of Smokey Barnable, who travels from the city to a magical house called Edgewood in New York to fulfil a prophecy that he will marry a girl called Alice Drinkwater. They then follow several generations of their family as they discover that Edgewood is a portal to the realm of fairy and they must protect it. The book was first published in 1981. The frontispiece is by Alan Clark. The Complete, Complete Enchanter by Earl Sprague de Camp and Fletcher Pratt. This edition is an omnibus of five fantasy stories in the Harold Shea series, including The Incomplete Enchanter, The Castle of Iron and Wall of Serpents. Psychologist Harold Shea and his colleagues travel to various magical parallel worlds that can be reached by aligning one's mind to their mythologies using symbolic logic. The stories variously explore Norse, Finnish and Irish mythology, as well as worlds inspired by Spencer's Fairy Queen and the epic Italian poem Orlando Furioso. The first book in this series was published in 1941. These impressed frontispieces by Ron Miller. Lord Fowl's Bane by Stephen Donaldson. This is the first book in the Chronicles of Thomas Covenant series, another parallel world epic fantasy series. Covenant is a young author who's diagnosed with leprosy, and he travels to an alternate world called The Land, in which he's not only cured, but regarded as a reincarnation of their greatest hero, Beric Halfhand. However, Covenant calls himself the Unbeliever because he thinks it must all be a delusion. The book was first published in 1977. The Eastern Press frontispiece is by Vincent de Fate. Horn of Prophecy by David Eddings. This is the first book in the five-volume Belgariad series, an epic fantasy set against a history of 7,000 years of the struggles of gods and kings and men. In this first volume, the protagonist, Garion, is a farm boy who discovers that a voice of prophecy speaks to him and then goes on a quest with others, including the sorcerer Belgarath and the thief Silk. It's a great series, and Easton later released a set of all five volumes. Each of the books has a title that combines a chess term with a fantasy trope, aligning with the whole Game of Destiny motif that recurs throughout the story. The book was first published in 1982. The Eastern Press frontispiece is by Ron Miller. Magician Apprentice and Magician Master by Raymond Feist. These two books form the first part of the Rift War Saga series. It was published as a single book in the UK, but separated into these two volumes for the US market. The story follows Pug, an orphaned kitchen boy who's apprenticed to a master magician and then gets swept up into a conflict between order and chaos that sends him through a rift to a new world. Magician was first published in 1982. The Eastern Press frontispiece is by Don Mates. The Unpleasant Profession of Jonathan Hogue by Robert A. Heinlein. In the titular science fantasy mystery story, Jonathan Hogue suffers from memory lapses, so he hires a detective team to follow him to find out what he's doing during the day. The novella was first published in Unknown Worlds magazine under a pseudonym, John Riverside. The story was first published in 1942. The Eastern Press frontispiece is by Walter Velez. Mathago Wood by Robert Holstock. This mythic fiction novel is the first in a series that all take place within or around an ancient British forest known as Ryehope Wood. Set after the Second World War, it tells the story of how a father's obsession drags his two sons into a world of myths and legends. It was first published in 1984. The Eastern Press frontispiece is by Jill Bauman. Tagana by Guy Gavriel Kay. Tagana is a lovely novel set in a fictional world that resembles Renaissance Italy called the Peninsula of the Palm. The plot focuses on a group of rebels attempting to overthrow two powerful sorcerers who have conquered the peninsula simultaneously but separately, dividing it into an uneasy balance of power. The book explores shades of morality and themes of identity, love and patriotism. It was first published in 1990. The Eastern Press frontispiece is by David Martin. Dorini Rising by Catherine Kurtz. Another first in series book, this introduction to the Chronicles of the Dorini is a historical fantasy novel set in the fictional medieval land of Gwynedd, which has a population of humans and Dorini, who are a persecuted race of psychic magicians. It deals primarily with the struggle of young Prince Kilson Haldane to secure his throne from a Dorini usurper. It was first published in 1970. The Eastern Press frontispiece is by Jill Bauman. Queen's Own, Volumes 1 and 2 by Mercedes Lackey. These two volumes actually include several books in the Heralds of Valdemar series, Arrows of the Queen, Arrows Flight, and Arrows Fall. They explore the adventures of Talia, 
who overcomes court intrigue by being chosen as a herald by her telepathic magical horse companion, Rowan. The Valdemar series is known as one of the earliest queer-friendly fantasy series. The first book was published in 1987. Eastern Press Frontispiece is by Pat Morrissey. Wizard of Earthsea, Volumes 1 and 2 by Ursula K. Le Guin. Easton released the first two volumes of the Earthsea series as part of a fantasy masterpiece collection, and they later expanded this to cover the whole four-book series. Originally published as a children's fantasy, today it would probably be marketed as a young adult, as it's a coming-of-age story that features a young mage named Ged learning to cope with power and coming to terms with death. It also explores some Taoist themes about maintaining balance in the fictional universe of Earthsea, tied to the idea that language and names have power to affect the material world. Although many of the early covers depict Jed as a traditional white-skinned protagonist, fortunately the Eastern Press illustrations reflect his actual identity as a person of colour. The first book was published in 1968. Eastern Press has a frontispiece by Rebecca Gay and drawings by Ruth Robbins. Gather Darkness by Fritz Lieber. This speculative fiction novel tells the story of Armand Giles, a man living in a post-apocalyptic world run by the techno-priests of the Great God, until the witches start a revolution. It was originally serialised in Astounding magazine. It was first published in 1943. The Eastern Press frontispiece is by Jill Bowman. Lion of Ireland by Morgan Llewellyn. Also known as The Legend of Brian Boru, this is a historical fantasy set in the 10th century about the life of the High King of Ireland, who unified the Emerald Isle against the Norse invaders. The tale mixes fact and fiction and includes druids, gods and goddesses. There's also a sequel called Pride of Lions, but Easton did not publish this one. First published in 1980, frontispiece by Ron Miller. The Riddle Master of Head by Patricia McKillop. This Celtic fantasy novel tells the tale of Morgan, the prince of a small farming island called Head. It opens with Morgan's sister discovering he has a crown hidden under his bed that he won in a riddle game with the ghost of a cursed king, and this sets him up on a quest along with the harp of death. Easton only printed the first book in this trilogy, so be warned that it isn't a standalone because it actually ends on a cliffhanger. First published in 1976, Easton Press frontispieces by Pat Morrissey. Sheep Farmer's Daughter by Elizabeth Moon. This is the first novel in the epic fantasy series The Deed of Pax Anarion. It follows the adventures of Pax, who may be a sheep farmer's daughter, but she's sure she's someone special and she sets off to join the army to become a hero. It was first published in 1988. The frontispiece is by Keith Parkinson. Witch World by Andre Norton. Andre Norton published novels in the high fantasy Witch World series for over 40 years, and the series was then continued by other writers after her death. The setting is a parallel universe where magic has superseded science, and this first in the series sword and sorcery style book describes the adventures of Simon Tregarth from Earth and the witch Jalith as they battle the colder. It was first published in 1963. The East Press frontispieces by Walter Valens. Gormenghast Novels, Volume 1 and 2 by Mervyn Peake. These two volumes incorporate the whole Gormenghast trilogy, Titus Grown, Gormenghast and Titus Alone. This classic series follows the inhabitants of the decaying Gothic castle Gormenghast, ruled by the noble family of Grown. It's not overtly fantastical, but it's generally considered fantasy due to its pseudo-medieval setting and atmosphere. Peake was actually writing a fourth novel in the series at the time of his death, and this was completed by his widow, then released 50 years after the third book, as Titus Awakes. The first book was published in 1946, Eastern Press frontispieces by Jill Bowman. Lord Valentine's Castle by Robert Silverberg. This is the first book in a series set on the planet Magipor, and it combines science fiction and fantasy elements. The story follows the amnesiac Valentine, who joins a troop of jugglers and acrobats, and gradually remembers that he's fallen from the highest state of grace. It was first published in 1979. The Eastern Frontispiece is by Ron Wolotsky. The Hound and the Falcon by Judith Tarr. This omnibus historical fantasy trilogy includes The Isle of Glass, The Hounds of God and The Golden Horn. The books tell the story of Alfred, one of the fair folk raised among humans as a monk at St. Ruins Abbey, and his struggles in coming to term with who and what he is when he leaves the protection of the monastery. It's based in the time of Richard the Lionheart and the Fourth Crusade. It was first published in 1985. The Eastern Frontispieces by Walter Velez. Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. 
For this most famous fantasy series ever, the Eastern Press collection included Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers and The Return of the King. Eastern Press sell a separate set, which includes The Hobbit and The Silmarillion. But they've in fact published at least 25 Tolkien classics thus far, so there were many to collect if you're so inclined. The first book was published in 1954. The Eastern frontispieces are by Michael Haig. The Once and Future King by T.H. White. White's lovely retelling of The Legend of King Arthur collects several earlier volumes that he published and is loosely based on Mallory's Le Morte d'Arthur. The book is set around the 14th century in Grammary, White's name for Britain, and it chronicles Arthur's youth and education, his role as king, and the tragic romance between Lancelot and Guinevere. A later Eastern Press edition of this book was also produced, which included an additional four black and white illustrations. It was first published in Omnibus Edition in 1958, The Eastern Frontispieces by David Martin, Darker Than You Think by Jack Williamson. In this science fantasy action novel, an archaeologist returning from Mongolia announces that people exist who can turn themselves into animals, but then suddenly dies of a mysterious seizure during his press conference before he can provide proof. The story follows the ensuing investigation into lycanthropy and witchcraft carried out by his journalist friend Will Barbie. It was first published in 1948. The frontispiece is by Jill Bauman. Nine Princes in Amber by Roger Zelazny. In the first book in the classic parallel world fantasy series The Chronicles of Amber, Carl Corey wakes up in New York with amnesia. He escapes the hospital and discovers that he's really Prince Corwin of Amber, the one true world of which our own Earth is just a shadow. He's one of nine men who might rule Amber, but only if he can survive the rest of his Machiavellian royal family. It was first published in 1970. The Eastern Frontispiece is by Ron Wolotsky. The Mists of Avalon, Volumes 1 and 2 by Marion Zimmer Bradley. This is another Arthurian fantasy novel, one that relates the legends from the perspective of the female characters. It follows the life of Morgan Le Fay, known as Morgaine, who is depicted as a priestess fighting to save her Celtic culture in a world where Christianity threatens to destroy their way of life. And it tells the story of the women who influenced King Arthur, including Guinevere, Vivian, Morgais, and Igraine. It was first published in 1983. The Eastern Frontispiece is by Doug Bigman, and there are also some internal illustrations by Mel Grant. And that's it for the Masterpieces of Fantasy collection. I hope you've discovered a few new fantasies that you're interested to check out. Thanks for watching. Please share your favourite classic fantasy novels in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to learn about more beautiful books. Looking forward to next time. Bye!